The water is really fatty. Let's tip this out. It smells like old fish. It looks like. Oh, it doesn't look that old, does it? <laughs> I don't feel strong today, but like I said, this is a pickle, not a true leather. That will be the next experiment. Niceness. Mm, as I do this, I do feel like they're kind of strong. But I think if I pull one, it's kind of fragile. Good simple living. Oh, it still feels fatty. Um, hung her rabbits over a rail. Just for people who are curious, I used to use this machine for placentas. It's been sat in my cupboard for about two years, has not touched a placenta and has been washed. The new machine for placentas is rectangle. So fish and placentas do not touch, just so you know. It's so different than before. It's Stretchy and sticky. It sticks to itself. I think we have reached some kind of decomposition point. Change them into the solution. She says for a rabbit it's two weeks. And maybe they do need longer, but these have only been in for this Thursday, so it's been one week. I'm putting them up this way, the ugly way, because I feel like they'll be or less likely to roll up. They might cut, I don't know. Just for the sake of um, information sharing, when placentas were on here and on the dehydrator I currently use, there's always uh, baking paper on here before placenta to both for cleaning ease but also to reduce risk of um, like 
capillary cross contamination, even though everything is hygienically washed and sanitized. Yeah. Just knowing that it doesn't contact, even though it's washed as well, is okay, reassuring. So, that's, that's flesh. Let's see one the right way up. Isn't it pretty? It's sticky. It's very weird. Yeah, it's definitely sticking to me. Maybe I should have left half in the solution. That's um one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five, five fish worth there of skin. Okay, it's the morning after I laid the pool. It's really crunchy. This one's still a bit soft. See, it's lost some colour. Oh, I ripped it. I wonder if that white thing will happen like. I could grab it. I don't think it will. No, the wet bits are ripping. The hard bits are not doing anything. No, hard bits don't seem to break. Like this did too. curl over like I thought it might. I don't know if you can see how see-through that is. I'm just trying to get it. I could just do that. Or go soft. It's supple. It's starting to go white there. I'm not really sure I'm trying another one, but I'm not sure I'm really sure why. So the white part here is wet. And here the clear part is it's strong. It's strong. Maybe it doesn't go white. I see how much this needed another scrape. I do want to try another recipe that's more like real leather than just pickling. So I'll have to get some um, bark with high levels of tannin that live around here. I'm not sure what that is. So a lot of oh, ripped it, ripped it. A lot of these um, guys' colour have come out, and yeah, they've shrunk a lot. That one, that pink one there, is really damp still. This was a smaller fish than this, but what do you make with it? Drying. I'll put the wet ones on the top this time. It's about six o'clock in the morning, so excuse my morning face. Um, here it is. If I give you the light, oh no, it's too much light. Anyway. You can absolutely see through that. Yeah, you really can. Ooh. Fish skin. Chopo Tangentania. 
uh, while I'm editing, still editing the overnight survival thing in the bush with Pearl that I did. I'm just finishing hopefully the last part. It's currently raining and all of that, but I just remembered that I've had this fish skin drying for a couple of days. I never came back. I did not come back and do the stretching thing. I'm, I guess I'm here to do that now. I haven't got this camera in the best place. Um, almost all of the pink colour is gone. It's gone hard. Some of it buckled a bit during drying, which I thought it might because it's so um, this piece, which is really buckly, is a piece which, oops, it's so weird. It's like, um, I don't know. But it's obviously got, um, those yellow streaks are like the fat from beside the skin still there. But I'm just going to try and, holy moly. Where's one that's already broken? All right, here's a broken one. I went, I tried to pull that as into, like break the leather. Far out. I waited too long, that's obvious, mm, and it snapped. But did you hear that? This is like, and you can hear my little water feature going in the background, but like, it's like, um, I can't even think of anything else that's kind of got this strength other than fish skin that's been dried for a week after soaking for ages. But I'm just going to try and like see if lots of movement will kind of soften it up. Interesting. It kind of looks like it's going white, but I don't know if that means it is really stretching or getting softer. We will see. Way too late to be doing this but with school nearly back we've got My fun fun video time is being reduced and during the term I'll probably have very very little um, filming and or editing time well do you know what this is the side I've been kind of using up I'm really sorry about my mascara or eyeliner but I'm not going to re-video this. I don't care. It's too late. It has gone white. I feel like I just need to put it in the dryer. Tumble, tumble dryer. It does still smell fishy. But, okay. Sorry, I haven't been showing you because I'm doing it down here, but... Oh, come on. Focus. It really doesn't like focusing. I know it makes a big noise whenever I touch the screen. But, like, you can see some creases from the edge that haven't softened. But that part that's kind of a hump is a hump because it's... Um, been stretched and I don't know if you can tell that's a shadow that you can see but it's not see-through anymore like that it is actually white what can I do with this it looks a bit like it would appreciate um, some type of oiling but this has just inspired me more to go ahead and try tanning properly because I know that this was just, oops, I broke it. I know that this was just a pickle, but it was a way to sort of, this is really strong. What can you do with something strong? Like a fish purse, but in Darwin it's, and especially this time of the year, 
it's raining so if I get my purse wet <laughs> it's gonna go um, soggy bread maggots and uh, my money will fall out because I'm sure that this well let's do a test but I'm pretty sure that this will just revert back um, to being soggy fish again if it is wetted I'm just going to move that one uh, this has been wet for that long and that really quickly got wet again um, it is different to before and interestingly it's just wet enough to give me some opaque colour if I give it a gentle tug it is actually stretching Oh, being careful not to rip it this is so small so maybe this little piece will be super strong when it's done I can't believe how bad that is I'm really sorry kind of I haven't worn any makeup in ages worst day to do it we went to the pool <laughs> go figure but if you can see that this is kind of not see-through not as see-through as it was if you would love 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 to have a say on what I should do with all this then to enter into that you have to share to someone who else who will subscribe to me no kidding I just love subscribers but I'm not gonna bribe anyone for that I wish I could think of something <sighs> Oh, it really is late. Uh, I could cut out bits for earrings and then hang it with a piece of shell. That's the only thing I can think of. But even then, like, don't accidentally leave them on and jump in the shower. I can't believe how clean it is. If you want to have a say what I can do with this, all of this crunchy fish skin that's waiting for something to happen, just let me know what I should do with it and then I can um, update on that. Good night.